Hi, this is Dr. Michael Doyle. I'm here to speak with you today about low thyroid or hypothyroidism. We're going to start today with the talk about the typical symptoms and physical changes of hypothyroidism. We're also going to have two follow-up lectures, one on how to make the diagnosis of hypothyroidism, and the third and final will be the most effective treatment for hypothyroidism. So, for starters, we'll talk about the general symptoms of low thyroid which probably start with uh, low mood. We know that people with hypothyroidism have higher rates of depression uh, and moderate and sometimes very severe mood problems. Um, sometimes even severe psychiatric illness can be related to low thyroid. We also see low energy, uh, chronic fatigue, lack of motivation, and weight gain, uh, particularly where it's difficult to lose weight despite you know strong efforts in the area of diet and exercise. Low thyroid patients tend to lose hair on their head, have dry breaking hair, and hair that falls out. They also tend to lose uh, the hair from their eyebrows, particularly the outer third of the brows, and experience some puffiness in the face, especially around the eyes. Uh, in the neck, hoarseness occurs, sometimes some vague discomfort in the neck, or even goiter, which is an enlargement of thyroid gland. The cardiovascular or heart system experiences a low heart rate, a weaker heartbeat. Uh, sometimes even a severe case has progressed to congestive heart failure, which is where the pump is just too weak to really effectively pump the blood. We know that people with low thyroid have a tendency to develop coronary artery disease or hardening of the arteries. This is uh, more understandable when you realize that hypothyroidism is associated with high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So the high blood pressure and high cholesterol may contribute to this earlier hardening of the arteries and uh, cardiovascular disease. We also see low libido and in men low testosterone. In women we see menstrual problems and we also have uh, higher, higher risk for heavy periods, painful periods, irregular periods, and even infertility. With the rest of the body we see increased joint pains, stiffness, muscle pains, uh, and muscle cramping, even chronic pain can be related to hypothyroidism. Uh, with the nervous system one of the common symptoms is uh, memory loss of varying degrees. Uh, we also see neuropathy which means malfunctioning nerves. A classic example is carpal tunnel syndrome which can be related to low thyroid. The immune system also doesn't work quite right in many cases of low thyroid. Uh, we also see you know, higher risk for autoimmune disease. It seems to be a higher rate of infections. It's been described that uh, people with many of the mild childhood illnesses and chronic constant infections um, may have thyroid problems. Um, these are just some of the classic common symptoms of hypothyroidism. But um, if you have some of these or know someone who has problems like these, you may want to talk to your doctor about getting tested. If you, the basic tests are done and the, the doctor tells you that you don't have a thyroid problem, ask him to check again because remember the basic tests are not perfect, no test is perfect, and hypothyroidism is definitely a common and serious and treatable illness. So if you want to find out more about this approach, uh, you can wait for my next lecture or Go to my website, www.gotogodoyle.com, or uh, call my office in Stanford, Connecticut. This is Dr. Michael Doyle signing off and saying thanks.